What you got is going to have a video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at Adware Remover from Bitdefender. It's a new tool that they've uh, released, and as you can see here, it's ready for testing. So I thought I'd give it a quick test just to see how good it is. So it is under beta at the moment, so there could be improvements in the future. So don't expect massive results from this uh, because it is in beta and they're still trying to probably get the final release ready. So what we're going to do is give it a test on this machine with all this junkware, uh, crapware, adware, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty nasty stuff and it just constantly bombards you with pop-ups, redirects in your browser and stuff like that. Okay, So I'm not so sure what um, we're going to expect from this tool, i.e. Um, what it's actually going to detect. It should detect all this stuff because this is adware in itself. As you can see, it just keeps reopening and uh, causes a lot of problems. And this is pretty common. A lot of people think these are infections, but they're not real infections uh, as such. They're just um, junkware, as we call them. They get embedded into freeware apps and stuff like that. So let me just close this off and try to clear some space here. And as you can see, the, the system is actually running really slow. And the reason why is because these take a hell of a lot of resources up and they just give you fake warnings and fake pop-ups. So let me just quit this out and we'll get to the desktop. There we are. So we're on the desktop now and uh, here we have our program. There is quite a few of these, I would say a good 20 or 30 of these on the system. So what we're going to try and do is run this. Okay, so here we have our program, Bitdefender Adware Removal Tool Beta. And uh, do remember it is in beta guys, so uh, it's in testing stages at the moment, but uh, we'll give it a go. And as you can see here, it's saying here, it helps removing unwanted applications, uh, such as so-called adware on your computer, potentially unwanted applications and stuff like that. So it should remove all this stuff, or at least detect a lot of it to remove it. So we'll run a scan here and uh, we'll let it run through. And hopefully we'll get some detections and uh, remove uh, some of it if not all of it that's not looking good we've got all this area scanned and there's no um, nothing found and nothing removed from the system and yet um, we have still got all of the original adware on the system as you can see if I click on this stuff it will start loading up if I reboot the system it will all start automatically starting and this is all still on the system so I'm not sure what's happened there um, why that's not removed anything or whether it's something wrong there but um, I expected it to find at least some stuff on the system but it's found none at the moment so maybe we'll have to revisit this program a little bit later on when they've done some more work on it but obviously there's still quite a lot of work to do on this program anyway so I'm going to wrap this one up as you can see pretty poor result there so I'm sorry about that so you'll have to make your own mind up when it finally gets released hopefully they do fix a lot of these glitches and errors and uh, make it a lot better at removing this particular type of stuff anyway my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching guys. Now if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that, you can always head over to the forums and uh, post your problems over there and uh, we'll do our best to try and uh, get you fixed and back up and running. Okay, so I'm gonna head out here now. So goodbye and I shall see you again in the next video.